she grew up fast. Will she remember these times and continue the tradition? You better believe it. Tell a new fish story with Garmin. Spencer Lazar here to explain why you need eternal lithium batteries in your boat. The cost of our batteries over their life is a fraction of dead acids or AGMs, providing five times the power at a third of the weight. We use a high quality Bluetooth BMS and grade A cells, giving us the confidence to offer a 12 year industry leading warranty. Eternal Lithium provides peace of mind that you've got reliable reserve power to keep you safe and give you a chance to win. Contact us now for a free power consultation. The newest addition to the Basscat STS family is here. Introducing the Caracal STS, showcasing aggressive styling, paired with enhanced performance and a continued dedication to raising the bar. Measuring in at 20 feet 2 inches with an ultra-wide 96-inch beam and rated for a 250 to 300 horsepower engine, the Caracal STS boasts agility and speed and is finished with premium features to satisfy any angler. Bass Cat Boats. Feel the rush. Competitive anglers powered by Mercury Pro XS Outboards have won more bass fishing tournaments than all other brands combined. With lightning quick acceleration, legendary reliability, and lightweight design, Pro XS has everything you need to travel farther, faster, and harder. Randall and I want to talk to you real quick about choosing the right electronics mount for your bass boat. And we know the quality and effort that Van Foster has put into this company. So what you get is a custom fitted mount, not some mass produced universal mount for every bass boat out there. Seat pedestal plugs, tool holders, steering wheel spacers and battery trays are all made with the same attention to detail that Bass Boat Technologies is known for. Check them out at BassBoatTech.com. You'll be glad you did. Tackle Warehouse has been the premier online tackle shop since 2003, with a huge selection of not only the latest and greatest from the biggest brands, but the hard to find regional specialties as well. Tackle Warehouse. Click, save, fish. It's the moment when everything is on the line and precision, power, and control make all the difference. A moment over 20 years in the making, anchored on loyalty, trust, and support that goes beyond all expectations. A relentless pursuit of perfection, all born from a revolutionary idea to help you rule the water. Power Pole. Welcome in everybody to the Bass Boat Technology Bam Trail Stop 2 at Oroville, California. And right now, we're going to be talking to Mark a little bit here in a minute. But this day right now, it's Sunday, so that means one thing and one thing only. We're going to crown a champion because it's Championship Sunday. Are you ready, Mark? Are you ready for Championship Sunday? you got to give away one of them big old trophies down there to a couple guys. I I'm ready. I just wish I had that energy. I'm telling you, that's why you're up here and not me. Okay. So I appreciate it. All right, man. Well, you know, there's been some questions out there in the world. All the people that watch it at home, all the people watching on YouTube right now, all the people sitting out here. You know, we've had a few things that have gone wrong. Technical difficulties in, in game one, in, at stage one. Technical difficulties here at stage two. We've addressed those. We've made some calculation changes. We've changed scales. We've changed different things. We're making it, we've changed the display. We are doing the best we can, and we're going to give you the most transparent tournament. We're gonna to bring out here, we're gonna be giving you the best we can do. And Mark, I would like you to address that a little bit because there are guys out there, there are, there are people out there watching right now. You're invested in this with a lot. Not just money, time, effort, people, staff. We know that you are the leader of this whole thing and you're doing the best you can. Tell those people out there what you're doing to, to really stand up and say, this is going to be the tour, and we're going to do the best we can. Yeah, well, we are. You, you know, I, I am behind this thing 100%. You know, I'm here to bring out the best tour ever on the West Coast. 
We have the, the greatest media. We have TV coming out at these events. We're going to be producing a TV show on uh, about five of our events. The championship will be televised. And, you know, and we're human and things break. Mechanical things break. Things quit working. Uh, you know, all kinds of things can happen. And, uh, you know, with every thing that happens, right. you know, I'm, I'm doing my best to address it, take care of it, fix it and move forward um you know but but we're human you know we emotions get into things and we all you know we get upset we say things things happen um you know but we really try to do our best and we're trying to bring everybody you know the best trail we have the the greatest sponsors in the world um you know i think we just have a, a great trail and it's really gonna do well moving forward yeah i mean i'll be the first to say you know Technical difficulties, people coming up on the stage, not knowing what's going on with the scales, not seeing what was happening. It gets frustrating. It gets it gets out of control sometimes. And yes, everybody makes mistakes. Yes, everybody tempers flare, things get bad, anglers get upset, we get upset, staff just doesn't know what to do. But we're fixing all of it. Stay with us. We've got a long trail ahead of us. We've got a long way to go. We are going to get these things righted. This ship will be going straight. It'll be something you can depend on. It's not going to be every other event. It's going to be the BAM Trail. It's going to be something you've built. We're behind this thing. We're behind Mark. Just stay with us because I guarantee you, you will like what comes next. Thank you. Thank you. All right. And I have to say thank you to the great staff. I mean, I, these guys come out here set this plate thing up you know i mean i could be gone these guys will have this thing all set up by the time i get back when i i take some news people out in the water or or doing something i come back everything's all set up real nice so you guys just do a great job ed does a great job up here and i i really appreciate that well we and we stand behind you bark everybody that came out today we so appreciate you coming out on championship sunday watching out in the crowd we hope we get more and more you guys are great fans. You've got family members coming up there. You're out here to support these anglers. These guys that are out here on the water right now, can't say enough about them either. This is the top 10 anglers, Co and Pro 20. And these guys have put their heart and soul into this tour. They love that it's been out here. They've all voiced their opinions this morning that, hey, they're gonna be here. They're standing behind this. They love this event so far. We've been doing everything they can and they like what they see. So you know what? That's what means the most to us, is that these anglers out here that have been coming out, supporting, and fishing, they're behind us, and that's what we want to see in the future. We just want to make everybody happy, have a good time, and let's go fishing. <laughs> yep. Let's, let's talk let's a little it. bit about fishing. Fishing? You know, I was out in the water today. Um, I saw one angler had a five-pounder. I heard nice. another angler had a five-pounder. One co had a five-pounder. One pro had a five-pounder. Wow. I saw one guy pretty high up in the standings, had a pretty small bag like uh, maybe under 10 pounds another mm. guy that was maybe mid standings had around 12 pounds a little suspense so, out there is what you're trying to build and there's a few other guys <laughs> that i heard are doing pretty well i think just about all these guys have a limit um there's and there's two techniques that are really coming into play at this event okay um is a wacky senko Right, guys in the back, most of the guys in the back are throwing a wacky Cinco or shake your head or some kind of finesse bait. Guy in the front is mixing it up between an A-rig, a lot of times using live scope, looking at these fish, throwing the A-rig out, running right by, they're running it by hundreds of fish. They're, you know, guys are telling me, man, every cast there's fish following it. And every once in a while I want to come up and bite it. So they're throwing A-rigs out there and you know, from five to 25 feet, depending on how deep these fish are. And then when they hit like a key little spot or they see a bunch of fish come up, then that's when they're gonna throw the wacky Cinco out. So, and these guys are catching them doing this. So I think we're gonna see some pretty good bags. You know, Ishman Rowe talked a little bit yesterday when he got up on the stage and he said, these fish, this, this high temperature, the pressure's coming out, the water's getting hot up there, and these fish are gonna start moving to the bank. Have these guys really been moving up? Have, they, have you been watching as the fish are starting to move towards the shore is that why these bigger fish are you're starting to see because the other day we didn't see many fives at all and now you're saying there's maybe three four five coming in well there's two well i don't know if there's three four five we'll, oh, we'll see on. you know 
It's just like millions and millions. You there's know? hey, there's uh, you know. I don't know who's watching. You don't know. Come on. <laughs> but there's a couple, a uh, couple fives. I saw one of them. It looked yeah. pretty close to five pounds. I got a couple pictures of it. Um, that was cool. All right. So, yes, guys are fishing shallow. Okay. Um, you know, I've, I've seen a lot of guys throwing a wacky Senko up in like five to maybe ten feet, yep. which is shallow here. For uh, guys that fish Orville, you know, a lot of times these fish are down 20, 30, 40. And Orville is one of those lakes that has pond smelt. And pond smelt goes super, super deep. I mean, you can catch good bags at 70 feet deep here. Mm -hmm. I don't like to fish that deep, but you can. <laughs> Somebody can do it, just not you, right? I like it when they're on the bank. Yeah. It was, for me, that's more fun. I like if I can stand on a trolling motor, go down the bank. It's a lot more fun. Um, but I think we're going to see some some pretty good weights. You know, I mean, we have the best guys out here. Oh, these guys are hammers. This is there's a top ten out there for a reason. Yep. It's this isn't luck. This is skill. These guys that are out here, the guys, you know, I don't want to say or make it sound like the guys that went home aren't skilled. They are. These guys just rose to the top at this tournament right now. They have been out here working hard. They've been catching a lot of fish, and they made the top ten. They are sticks out here. Give them the respect they deserve, because those guys, every one of these guys, whether it's a co, whether it's a pro, they have put the work in, and they have made. They're going to make their name today. One of them's walking out of here with these trophies, and the guys that are behind them, they deserve all the respect too, because they worked hard to get here just as much. So I want to talk about the digital display for a minute. Sure. So this is this one is brand new. Yeah. And you see it says zero right now. When this scale reads under one pound, that could either say zero or it can bounce around. So especially it's a battery operated scale. So when the battery voltage gets low, it can jump around. What really tells the tail is this. So we're looking at this. Every time an angler comes up, it's going to be zero. So just to let you know. And this should say zero, but it not always. Yeah, and today you will notice the one of the biggest ways you know we change the scale out this scale does not read tags i will not be pushing a button to make it give me a cart nothing we will be giving their all their information will come to them afterwards you'll know exactly who has made it so if you don't see me up here tearing a, a, a receipt and giving it to them that's because this scale doesn't communicate with it no big deal it's not done almost everywhere else we were just trying to be innovators and we are innovators and we'll make sure that it works in the future but for now this is the changes we've made. So when you don't see that part of it, they trust me, they're getting their information. And I would have got... No, there's nobody up here yet. There's nobody coming up. No, no. I think our camera guy back here started us early. He just wanted to hear us talk. He loves to hear us talk. And, you know, so he, he said, you know what, get up there on the stage, make some noise, get these crowd, we're up, get them all going. Look at all the people out here, man. There's, I mean, there's a good, there's a good crowd coming out there's today. Crowd, yeah. We had it on the news. How many people out here heard us on the news or saw it on the news? couple all right all right at That's least awesome yeah i mean there's 30 or 40 people out here today they're gonna be watching us out here thanks for tuning in thanks for seeing us out there thanks for the was it channel seven for coming out yeah we really appreciate that the more we can grow this sport the more people see what's going on up here we're coming to your neighborhood we're coming out there we're going to the, our next stop will be at uh lake martinez and then the delta next then, pro am is the on the delta yeah, the next pro am is on the delta our first Pro Tour will be Lake, Lake Martinez in Arizona. In Arizona, yes. And so that, Yuma. And if Yuma. you if you want to follow us down there, by all means do. But if you just want to watch us on YouTube Live, you can do that too. So <laughs> if you don't feel like getting out of the, up here today and driving all the way out that way, come up, watch us on YouTube Live, and we'll be out there browsing that one. And then it'll be later on, it's going to go on up on what channel? On, I'm gonna put him. I'm gonna put him. I'm gonna put him on the spot here. Out, we'll be on Outdoor Action TV. So, uh, so with the first Pro Tour and about a month after the event, yeah. we'll be up on Outdoor Action TV. Right. So you can see on the water action of how these guys are doing it a little bit more and get a, a nice in-depth look at what goes on out here on the water. So, and you know what, we're really working to innovate and to build bass fishing. So yes, you can look as. You know, as we uh, mature, as how I figure out how to run bass tournaments, <laughs> uh, things are going to evolve. Uh, you know, I'm going to, I can't tell you exactly what's going to happen, but we're going to do some really cool stuff out here on the West Coast that hasn't been seen right. before. Yeah, we talked about that. The West Coast is one of the places that has been kind of a void for bass fishing. But we look out here, we see these fans. 
We know at home we're watching, there's fans watching us right now at home. There are people that are very interested in this sport. There are people interested in what's going to happen up here today. And you know what? In the future, we're hoping that this becomes more of a mecca. More people show up, more people come out, more people are interested. Take your kids fishing. Mark said it on the news the other day. You feel that tug the first time, you're hooked. Exactly. Exactly. So, Fishing is just so fun. I mean, I, I, I'm sure a lot of you out here, you know, fish. And yep. it's just, it, it's really cool that the fish don't have any idea who you are. Nope. They don't know who's holding the rod. You know, big, small, old, you know, young, it doesn't matter. Um, just throw it out there and you catch a fish. And anybody can catch one. Anybody can catch a fish. It's happened before. I've been fishing with you. I've seen that. So, <laughs> you know, we got some guys starting to come up. They're show, showing up in their boats, so that's a good thing. We are going to be starting off here in a minute. Um, we've got about, it's 3.54 right now, I think. So we've got just a few more minutes and this thing's going to kick off. Yeah, right about 4 o'clock. I'm thinking, well, there's nobody here yet. So should we take our first commercial? Come when we come back, we start weighing fish? Yeah, sure. Let's do it. What do you think? All right. All right, so what we're going to do right now is we're going to take our first commercial. When we take that commercial, we've got guys showing up in the parking lot right now. we got bags coming down. So when you come back, when you see us, we're going to be getting ready to crown a champion out here. There's boats coming in everywhere. Come on back, tune in. We're going to crown a champion because it's Championship Sunday, so let's have some fun. Spencer Lazar here to explain why you need eternal lithium batteries in your boat. The cost of our batteries over their life is a fraction of dead acids or AGMs, providing five times the power at a third of the weight. We use a high quality Bluetooth VMS and grade A cells, giving us the confidence to offer a 12 year industry leading warranty. Eternal Lithium provides peace of mind that you've got reliable reserve power to keep you safe and give you a chance to win. Contact us now for a free power consultation. Randall and I want to talk to you real quick about choosing the right electronics mount for your bass boat. And we know the quality and effort that Van Foster has put into this company. So what you get is a custom fitted mount, not some mass produced universal mount for every bass boat out there. Seat pedestal plugs, tool holders, steering wheel spacers and battery trays are all made with the same attention to detail that Bass Boat Technologies is known for. Check them out at BassBoatTech.com. You'll be glad you did. Tackle Warehouse has been the premier online tackle shop since 2003, with a huge selection of not only the latest and greatest from the biggest brands, but the hard to find regional specialties as well. Tackle Warehouse, click, save, fish. Competitive anglers powered by Mercury Pro XS Outboards have won more bass fishing tournaments than all other brands combined. With lightning quick acceleration, legendary reliability, and lightweight design, Pro XS has everything you need to travel farther, faster, and harder. It's the moment when everything is on the line and precision, power, and control make all the difference. A moment over 20 years in the making, anchored on loyalty, trust, and support that goes beyond all expectations. A relentless pursuit of perfection, all born from a revolutionary idea to help you rule the water. Power Pole. She grew up fast. Will she remember these times and continue the tradition? You better believe it. Tell a new fish story with Garmin. The newest addition to the Basscat STS family is here. Introducing the Caracal STS, showcasing aggressive styling, paired with enhanced performance, and a continued dedication to raising the bar. Measuring in at 20 feet 2 inches with an ultra-wide 96-inch beam and rated for a 250 to 300 horsepower engine, the Caracal STS boasts agility and speed and is finished with premium features to satisfy any angler. Bass Cat Boats. Feel the rush.
All right, welcome back to the Bass Boat Technologies Bam Trail. We're up here. Guys are starting to line up over here. We've got a few more minutes before they're totally ready. Thank you for coming back over here and watching us. Thank you, everybody, for coming out today to see this thing. Really appreciate it. The anglers are getting ready. They're coming in. You know, we want to talk a little bit about some of our other sponsors. We've got Bass Boat Technologies, obviously is our main sponsor here, but we got Tackle Warehouse as our presenting sponsor. We got Fisherman's Warehouse out here taking care of all these bass. They've been doing a great job. They bring us out, they give us this stuff over here for our, our live release. They're, I mean, we can't do it without these sponsors. They're out here and, I mean, we've got every kind of sponsor you can think of. We've got Dish Network. Look right behind me and you'll see all these great. Oakley, we got StoreQuest, StoreQuest Self Storage. Everybody out there is amassing stuff. They need places to store it find store quest they support us they support your anglers they support everybody out here on this tour go out there get a good look at that stuff plumas county i mean we're going to be in some of the greatest little air waters out there and all these lakes all these places they want us to show up sticky graphics for giving us our uniforms that you see on all of our staff members out here a lot of the anglers out here running them all our boats are wrapped by sticky graphics i also want to break down a little bit let you guys know how today is going to go as the anglers are coming in, we've got a few, they're going to be coming up here on the stage. Uh, these are all going to be co-anglers coming up first. The first co-angler right now, he's sitting in, he's sitting in first place with 21-27. Gaspar Busalachi, we're going to take him up here, we're going to put him on this hot seat. Then we're going to start from 10. Gasper, look at that, he's coming up here right now. This guy loves first place. He's been up here, he's been up here at Shasta. And that's all we've done is Shasta and Orville. And you've been on this hot seat both times, right? No, I was in second to Shasta. I was taking a break. <laughs> all right, Gasper. But I'll tell you what, we're going to put him up in this hot seat over here. And then we're going to bring Dante up, then Tommy, then jo James Rogers, then Roy Dismangles Jr. And then we're going to bring up Kirk Marshall, Craig Main, Chris Trumbull, Rodney Brown, Jason Bouvier. You've got some anglers behind you, my friend. They're going to be best. They're going to win. You don't even want first? You just want to give it to the next guy? He can have it. <laughs> well, I don't have it. All right, well, I'll tell you what. It's probably not going to take the... No, you stand right there. You can go. I want you on that camera as long as I can get you on that camera. You've got a real, a real beautiful face for the camera, so I want you up here. You're going to sit down for just a few minutes. <laughs> We're going to sit you down for a few minutes. We're going to bring Dante up here. Now, he's probably going to take your spot, but... Probably. <laughs> I guarantee it. But you get to sit there for a minute, bask in the glory, and then when we bring Dante up, we'll see how long you stick around. At the very end, we'll bring you back up, and we'll crown a champion. Hopefully, you get to wave that thing over your head, because I know you want one bad. All right, man. Have a seat over here. So that's how it's going to go. We're going to go 10th Vert coming up first. Dante's down there. He's shaking hands. He's, he's getting ready to come up. Dante, you ready to come up here? You want to bring some fish up to weigh? You want to knock that guy out of that seat and take it? Yeah. Set those down right there for just a second. Now, Dante, you're going to need 3.06 pounds is what's telling me to get in there. How was your day out there today? It actually started out great. Um, I had a great morning, uh, caught a quick limit, lost my big fish of the day, got broke off Aww. on a fly. Um, but nevertheless, uh, we kept fishing and I got one more bite to call and and here I am. All right, Dante, you only need 306. Let's set those fish up in here. We don't need any of this in here now. We got it, this is it. Right now, look behind me, you're gonna look for 306. He's gonna bring it in. At 10.59, he's going to take that lead right over there. So I'll tell you what I'll do. Gasper, you're going to take these over and give the live release boat. That's what they feel like. Dante, we're going to take you over. We're going to put you in the hot seat. We're going to call the next gentleman up here. It's going to be, looks like Tommy Rice. You're going to sit right over there, and he's going to need a little bit of weight to get in the lead. How long do you think you got this? You got one or two anglers? Maybe three. All right, let's go have that seat. 
Tommy. Tommy Rice coming up. Hold on a second. I got to I can't I've got to have this thing working and I, and, I, and I know that this is all the technical stuff that we're dealing with right now. I want to know how much he needs how much does he need to make it? I got 1153. How many fish you got today? Four fish. How are you feeling about 1153? Um not too good about that. But I don't really have any sponsors other than you guys. Well then we're, happy, we're then we're proud to have you on board. So I'll tell you what, let's set him up in here. Maybe if you can get this, we'll get you some sponsors next. Ready? He's 1153. Just gonna be shy. 689. 689. Hey Tommy, thank you for coming out and fishing with us. We really appreciate your support. You have anything you want to say to anybody out there? Um. Hey, you know it's a beautiful day. It was good fishing, and hey, I hope you all are having a great time watching. All right, man. Thank you. Our next angler is going to be Mr. James Rogers. So let's bring him up here. Figure out. <laughs> Set those fish down there right now. Okay, now it's telling me you need 9.99. How was your day out there on the water? Uh, it was tough, but it was a beautiful day, so here we are. It's not raining. It's not cloudy. It's not windy. Did you want that wind? I had no preference. I'm in the back of the boat, so let's go for a ride, man. Well, let's put these fish up here. See if we can see a 9.99. Right back here. Look up here. 9.99. 6.98. I'm telling you, Dante's over there warming that seat pretty good. Thank you for coming out. We really appreciate you being here. You want to say anything to anybody out there? Uh, thanks for everybody coming out, and thanks you guys for. Coming. Thank you, sir. We appreciate you. Our next angler has been a perennial. Roy Dismangles Jr. coming up here. Set him down there, sir. No, I don't know. I got You got to let me do this. I'm now, come over here for a second. Now, Roy, you've been doing this for a long time on the back of the boat. How was the day for you? Uh, the day wasn't like the first and the second day. That's for sure. We, uh, I learned some new things. Uh, fishing these, uh, these, these docks and these uh, suspended boats out here. So I got a lesson so I can take that home with me. All right, well, right now you need 963. Let's set that bag up in there. He needs 963. He's going to come out of here. 205, 205. Roy, thanks for coming out and fishing with us. I hope we'll see you to the next event, man. So I want to thank my wife for coming out with my son. They don't usually get a chance to do this, so I'm very happy to see them. I'm kind of looking forward to going home. My team partner's here with, with his beautiful wife and daughter. Phil Garcia, he's the one that has that beautiful 56 sitting back there in the back. Oh. Haven't seen a car like that in a while, huh? And I want to thank uh, Jody and Lisa White. That's where I stayed uh, this weekend. I appreciate that. And Joseph, their son, is here. And I think that's Grandma back there, too, wearing that stylish hat. So it's good to see you for the first time. I appreciate you. I saw your picture. And uh, good luck to all my friends that are up here. I know all these guys, and they fish great. And I appreciate the crowd for coming out and cheering us on. All right, Roy. Thank you very much. We appreciate that. I'm going to look over here to my left right now. Dante, um, are you starting to feel a little too comfortable up there? Just a little. Are you liking the seat at least? It's comfortable. All right. I'll tell you what. We're going to bring up our next co-angler. This guy's going to need 933 to get there. Kirk Marshall, come on up here. Let's see if you can bring 933 to the scales. Set him down right there for a second. How was your day out there, my friend? As usual, it was a grind. It started off okay, and then uh, had that lull there for a couple hours midday. Um, and then about the last five minutes, I got one that was able to call out, so I'm happy. All right, you need 933. Let's set them up there. Let's see if you can take that hot seat away. He's going to have big weight. 1167, he's taking Dante's seat. Congratulations. All right, Dante, we're going to give you these fish. You want to hold these up for the camera real quick? Those, that's a good bag of fish right there. There's a camera right here. I'm going to hold that up, show some of these fish off. That's all right. Just grab. Yeah, there we go. Look at those. There's some Orville bass right there. It's a great job. He took the seat away from Dante. Oh, that's, there's our cameraman. Comes running at the last second. <laughs> All right. 
I'll give these to Dante. You go over. You get to set, have a seat. Take take a seat right there. Take a load up, Dante. Thank you very much, man. We really appreciate you. And all right, our next angler. He's getting to 1141. Let's bring up Mr. Craig Main and see if he can bring us 11.41 a fish. Look at that smile right there. You know, he's doing a good job out there. He's been fishing hard. You want to set those in there? All right, let's see. He needs 1141. He's going to be just shy at 902. Hey, it's a good way to end this day. You're in the top 10. You're standing up here on championship day, and you had a really good shot at knocking this guy off. How was your fishing day? Oh, fishing day was excellent. Had excellent pros, excellent day out there today. Uh, just like to take a moment to thank my lovely wife, Allison, and my family for putting up with my obsession. <laughs> well, it's a good obsession. You do a great job. We appreciate you coming out and fishing with us. We'll see you at the next event. All right. This next guy, he won our co-angler championship up at Shasta. He's been fishing hard. But he's going to need 11.15. And his name is Chris Trumbull, so let's bring him on up here. Chris, get up here. We'll see what those fish weigh. All right. Now, you've been fishing hard. You've been up here. You've been pre-fishing. How was your day out there on the water? Great. Had a good time. Uh, we stayed pretty much in one cove all day. And it was fish all day long for whatever reason. From Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, I couldn't catch a fish from 12 to 2. As soon as 2 o'clock came around, it was fish on again. Yeah, yeah I got to thank my wife. Thank Ryan Friend. I fished with Ryan on the first day. Uh, Bo Allen on the second. And Wyatt here today on the third. All right, let's put these up here. You need 11.15. 11.15. We're looking for 11.15. Oh, we got it. 12.54. Great weight. Great weight. And you get to take a seat. I will get you. want to hold some of these up to take pictures of? All right. We'll do that, and then Kirk wasn't there for very long, but <laughs> he did a great job today catching fish. And there's some of the Orville fish. Look at that right there. All right, we'll pass these off to him. He can give them to the live well. You can take over that chair right there. And we're going to bring up another angler. He's going to need 1198 to take that seat right there. Chris doesn't want to give that seat up at all. <laughs> all right, Mr. Rodney Brown, come on up here. Oh, we're still getting some of his fish ready. Zoom out, zoom out. All right, Rodney. You ready to do this? I have a big fish. All right. I know. Well, he's going to show off his fish to the camera. He's got a big fish in here. He went out. You can weigh it if you want. It won't count towards anything but till the end. So we're going to weigh them all instead of just one, unless you want to know what it weighs up here. That is what Oroville Bass is supposed to look like right there. Rodney is bringing the game. You might want to tremble just a little bit, Chris. Those are some good fish. <laughs> all right, let me get that open for you. Well, this is a small one. This is the small one. That's the small one. Which one do you want to weigh? You want to weigh one real quick? The crowd want, does the crowd want to know what this fish weighs? Yeah. All right, let's set him up on the scale. That fish goes in at 5.09. All right, let's set him back in there. You're going to need 11.98. Who out here thinks he's got 11.98? Let's put him up there and see if you got 11.98. Watch right behind me here. 11.78, just shy! Oh, man, Chris gets to hold that seat up. Thank you for coming out here. Thank you for doing this. And why don't you thank some of your friends and family out there? I want to thank my wife. Thank God. Thank JR. Um, Aaron Britt. He he gave me plenty of water. All my guys did. Sam Villarreal. And I had a great time. Thank you. All right. Thank you for coming out and supporting us. We love having you out here. Oh, we've got... So, all right, our next angler, he's going to be coming up here. Most of you know who he is. 1134 is what he's going to need. Mr. Jason Boubier, come on up here, man. 1134. How are you feeling about that? 
I feel okay as long as the scale weighs better today than it did yesterday. I'm feeling okay. He's smiling. <laughs> it looks like it looks like it's it's weighing good, man. We're everything seems to be really close and really on. Let's put him up in there. Eleven thirty-four is we're looking for. Eleven thirty-four. Yeah. Twelve sixty right there. Yeah. Take out a couple of these fish. Show them to the camera. This one right here looks like my buddy that rode up here on his Harley this weekend. Nice. <laughs> he's long and skinny, or he's just a little rep? What are you saying? I got some bigger ones in here. <laughs> All right, here's some better fish. Now, these are Orville fish. Get up. Let's hear it for these Orville fish. They're the true stars right here. Your lake out here in Orville. Look at those right there. There you go. Give them to him. We're going to, you're going to take that hot seat now. Just for a couple seconds. We will, I'm going to give you just a second to say all you want to say to everybody out there. Because that next angler right there, you just stay right there for a second, mister. I know you want to get up on this stage, but this guy right here, he wants the spotlight for just a minute. I just want to tell everybody that came out to say, see me. Thank you very much. Yeah. Wow. Holy cow. My daughter up in Bremerton, Washington in the Navy. I love you, baby. Ooh. Wait a minute, now you feeling this? You've got that guy right there. He's breathing down your neck. He's Roy Des Mangles. I mean, he's probably him, Gasper, you know, Gary Haraguchi. These guys are the top co-anglers on the West Coast. And to be up here with those guys? <laughs> well, he's coming up and he's going to eat 1257. I'm going to have you stand right over here next to Mark. Gasper, come on up here. You got any fish? That he doesn't have to worry about a whole lot. No. But we're coming up here. Congratulations. And we're going to crown a champion, a co champion right now. And it is going to be. You ready to hold this thing up? Because it's going to be Mr. Jason Booby. He's coming up here. There's your champion in Orville. Stage two. Show it off to everybody out there. Get those pictures up. He wants some pictures right here. You have given away a lot of those trophies, and this time you get to take one home and you get to put it on the shelf. How does that make you feel, period, up here? Well, the only other time I ever got trophies like this was when I was fishing with my buddy that rode all the way up here from <laughs> Discovery Bay. So I owe a lot to him. He taught me a lot. A lot of guys out here have. Ryan, Johnny, Jake, all you guys. Thank you guys so much. Jason, thank you for fishing with us. We really appreciate it. We hope to see you to the next event. Right there is your co-champion. <laughs> These guys come out and they sit in the back of some of the best pros on the West Coast. They're coming up next. And they have to work just as hard and they get to hoist those big trophies, take home those checks. And we're so proud that they came out and fished with us. So I'll tell you what, we're gonna take our commercial. When we come back, we're gonna start weighing in some anglers over here that are waiting, some pro anglers. And we're gonna crown the pro champion right here at Orville. Come on back. Spencer Lazara here to explain why you need eternal lithium batteries in your boat. The cost of our batteries over their life is a fraction of dead acids or AGMs, providing five times the power at a third of the weight. We use a high quality Bluetooth VMS and grade A cells, giving us the confidence to offer a 12 year industry leading warranty. Eternal lithium provides peace of mind that you've got reliable reserve power to keep you safe and give you a chance to win. Contact us now for a free power consultation. Randall and I want to talk to you real quick about choosing the right electronics mount for your bass boat. And we know the quality and effort that Van Foster has put into this company. So what you get is a custom fitted mount, not some mass produced universal mount for every bass boat out there. Seat pedestal plugs, tool holders, steering wheel spacers and battery trays are all made with the same attention to detail that Bass Boat Technologies is known for. Check them out at BassBoatTech.com. You'll be glad you did. Tackle Warehouse has been the premier online tackle shop since 2003 with a huge selection of not only the latest and greatest from the biggest brands, but the hard to find regional specialties as well. Tackle Warehouse. Click, save, fish.
Competitive anglers powered by Mercury Pro XS Outboards have won more bass fishing tournaments than all other brands combined. With lightning quick acceleration, legendary reliability, and lightweight design, Pro XS has everything you need to travel farther, faster, and harder. It's the moment when everything is on the line and precision, power, and control make all the difference. A moment over 20 years in the making, anchored on loyalty, trust, and support that goes beyond all expectations. A relentless pursuit of perfection, all born from a revolutionary idea to help you rule the water. Power Pool. She grew up fast. Will she remember these times and continue the tradition? You better believe it. Tell a new fish story with Garmin. The newest addition to the Basscat STS family is here. Introducing the Caracal STS, showcasing aggressive styling, paired with enhanced performance and a continued dedication to raising the bar. Measuring in at 20 feet 2 inches with an ultra-wide 96-inch beam and rated for a 250 to 300 horsepower engine, the Caracal STS boasts agility and speed and is finished with premium features to satisfy any angler. Basscat Boats. Feel the rush. All right, welcome back to the Bass Boat Technology BAM Trail, presented to you by Tackle Warehouse. And it is Championship Sunday, and there are a bunch of top pros on the West Coast over there. And they want some money, and they want some trophies, and they want you to watch them get it. So I'll tell you what. Is Steve ready? Is Steve Hoover ready? No. Oh. We're just we're waiting real quick for Greg to get ready. Greg, come on up here. I just want to make sure you're ready, Steve. <laughs> all right, Greg. That's it. Comb your hair. Get it all straight. Get it looking pretty because you're going to take the hot seat. Greg, now you were the champion. Come right over here. They like you to be centered up in that camera right there, so we like to get it up there. Okay, now you were the champion at Shasta. You came in here. What? I had to stand in between. You want to be taller. Okay, I'll tell you what. You were the champion at Shasta. You came in here, and you're in the top ten again. Orville likes you. Orville likes you is what you're saying. Now, here's my question. Are you ready to get off your feet for a little bit, sit down, and hope that some of these guys can't knock you off? Ooh, it's it's so tight. The weights are so tight, and these guys are all hammers. I don't know if you looked at the line back here. <laughs> so I don't think I'll be up there long, but we're going to give it a shot. Well, I'll tell you what, I'm going to tell you right now, the first guy to come up is going to be Steve Hoover, and he's 2.80 pounds. I don't personally think you're going to be in that hot seat for very long. So go over there, kick back, make sure you feel comfortable, because you're going to be out of there real quick. <laughs> just give me a minute to just absorb it for a second, okay? Absolutely. But there's a trophy sitting right over there that I know. You took home one. You got room for two? I'll make room for two. You can build that, right? Yeah, I'll have to put extensions on the thing. <laughs> now, you're a fireman, so don't burn anything down and put a, to make room. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I, I won't do that. All right, guys, here we go. Greg, step right over there. Have a seat. Our first angler, I just let everybody know out there that he's going to need 2.80 pounds. <laughs> he gives me the thumb up. So let's bring over Steve Hoover right now. Come on up to the stage. Set those fish down for just a quick second. There's a guy sitting over there that I know you fished against before. Yep. And I know you would love to take that seat away from him. Come here, I want to get you right here in the middle of this, guys. Are you ready to do that? Yeah, I'll, I'll take it away from him for about a couple minutes. <laughs> um, he'll, build, he'll probably have it later on. But uh, we, had a, we had a good day. I mean, you, when you come in here and you're in 10th, uh, you're happy to even get to fish today. Um, and then you're just trying to move up and hopefully I can pop up a couple spots. 
Uh, you know, I just want to you know, thank some of the people who helped me out. Um, obviously, uh, thank God with the tournaments we've had this year, I didn't have to wear any bucket bath stuff today. <laughs> um, so that that was great. And then uh, Rob down in uh, Bethel Island at the Bass Hole um, always gets me all the tackle I need. And um, that's about it. Well, right now, Steve, you need 2.80. Let's set those up on there. Let's see if we can get 2.80. Remove the former, the champ right now. 12.91. You're going to move him out of there. He's going to take your fish over to the live, to the live release boat. You get to take his chair. All right, guys. And that's as easy as it is right there. That's all you got to do is bring in bigger weight than the guy sitting in that chair. The next guy's got to bring in a little bit more weight, though. He's got to bring in 1273. And his name is Zach Thompson. Zach, come on up here. Set those down for just a second. You got to have 1273. Are you feeling pretty good right now? Uh, no, not. I don't think so. Um, it was, you know, I, I'm from the Delta, so coming to Orville, making a top 10 after making a top 10 in Shasta, I'm happy, you know. I want to say hi to my parents, Dave and Shelly, my wife, Cassandra, kids, Charlotte and Sawyer. Say thanks to everybody that supports me, Frank, DCR Propeller, um, Spear Point Hooks, St. Croix Rod, Seven Reels, Costa, um, P-Line. I caught most, believe it or not, a Delta guy came to Orville caught most of his fish on a float and fly it's with six pound p-line tactical and a, a great st croix rod it's a 7-eleven fly rod and uh I, I figured this thing out so all these guys from orville better figure out a punch to, to, to so, so that it's even all right well i'll tell you what I'll, will you just put them on notice that you're going to take them at the delta so i'll tell you <laughs> i guess that's what you were telling everybody so right now you need 1273 set that bag up in there let's see if we can get 1273 we can get so close, 11.43. Zach, that was close, man. Yeah, you know, I mean, I'm happy. Yesterday was really, really tough for me. So today I was able to, to adjust a little bit better and, and come on with a better bag. So thanks everybody, it's a great crowd. Thanks to Bam, thanks to Mark, thanks to you, Ed. And uh, for those of you who aren't coming out to support these tournaments, I highly suggest it. So, you know, come out and add your name to the list. Thank you for supporting us. We really appreciate you, Zach. We'll see you at the next event for sure. Woo! You got by one. <laughs> he dodged that little target right there. The next, the ne <laughs> now the next angler coming up. He's gonna need 1262. Now he's ready for it. You ready, Ryan? Let's bring Mr. Ryan Hall up to there. Let's see if he can get on the stage and bring in 1262. Set him down right there, real quick. Now, Ryan. You had a pretty good day. You made it to the top 10. You told me before, you're like, I can't believe I made the top 10. How are you feeling right now? Come on over here, look into that camera, and tell everybody out there. No, it, it was great. You know, I'm really happy to be here. Uh, second Pro-Am ever, and uh, stumbled into a handful of good fish. So um, we'll see what see what they weigh, you know. Caught them all on a rig and a Nico rig, so we'll see. Yeah, you know, big thank you to PK Tire Pros, Loyalty Pond, Optimum Athletes. They're helping me get here, uh, pay, pay for all my dues and everything like that. Um, and then today I caught uh, most of my fish on a Nico rig, and that's a, you know, Gamagatsu uh, Weedless Stinger Nico hook, and a uh, Picasso A rig called twice at the end of the day. So, All right, right now you need 1262. Let's set that bag up in here. Everybody right here, watch for 1262. It is a big bag, but it is going to be... Whoa. Big enough, 1370. Whoa. Steve's got to take a hike with these fish over here. And I'll tell you what. Sorry, man, I couldn't get you through all eight. <laughs> all right, Steve. Have a seat over there, Ryan. And we'll bring up the next angler. This next angler, wait, this next angler is going to need 13 pounds. Joseph Roscoe's been here before. Set him down in there for a second. So let's bring you up here. Now, you're kind of known for the guy that fishes this lake, right? Come over here real quick. I've got to make sure you're on camera. You fished here once or twice, right? Yeah, a few times. Born and raised here. Actually grew up in Berry Creek. Moved down to Orville about 10, 10 11 years ago. And little did I know Lake Orville would be my, my home lake. Never fished before. I was 21. And I just went full bore. And, uh, man, this crowd's awesome. Thank you to my family and my sponsors. Wood Brothers Carpet, Dobbins Rods, Buck and Bass, Mercury Marine couldn't do without you guys and Bass Union. Thank you everybody and uh, let's see what these fish weigh. Ryan's sitting over there. He's sweating us a little bit because you only need 13 pounds. 
That's not. That's a good bag here. 13 pounds. You know that that's a good bag here. But let's see if you can get in there and get this 13 pounds. Let's put them on up in there and watch for 13 pounds. Uh-oh. 13.70. There it is. That's your new leader. I'll give these to Ryan. He can haul these out of here for you. That was a quick stint for Ryan. Joe, get over there. Take a seat and get ready because you still got a couple really good anglers coming up, my friend. Now, I know you've been in that seat before, and I know you've seen these guys coming up. But let's bring up the next guy. He needs 1361. He's Mr. Antonio Gold. Come on up here. Let's see if he can bring 1361 to the scale. Antonio, that's a big smile. Set him down there for a second. Talk to us a little bit about how your day was. Thanks to people. Yeah, I want to, first of all, uh, thank Bam for coming out here. And uh, Mark's doing a great job. I want to thank my family, always supporting me, my wife, my daughters, and uh, all my family. I'm just blessed to be out here, have a good time. This was a great event. I had uh, three great guys to fish with. They were all just a pleasure to have on my boat. And uh, I don't think I have 1370, but uh, we'll see what they weigh. I've got a scale right here. It says you need 1361. Let's set them up in there. Let's hope for 1361. Watch right behind me. 1338. Oh. So close. Oh, wow. So close. Antonio, thank you for coming out and fishing with us and supporting us. We hope we see you at the next event. And have a great day. Okay, our next angler coming up here. He's going to need 1342. He's one of the true young guns of this sport. These guys, you saw some of our other anglers. They're a little long in the tooth. This one right here, he's a little young in the tooth, a little short maybe, I guess. But come on up here, Mr. Asher Haynes. All right, man, set those down for a second. Tell us a little bit about your day. Give us a shout out to some of your sponsors and stuff. Yeah, absolutely. First thing, uh, I want to thank my sponsors, uh, Sprig Electric and Arch Key Solutions, for really helping me out this season, making it possible, and Katie Haynes Homes. So just want to thank them. Uh, absolutely. I mean, couldn't do without them. So, but yeah, today it got tough on me. I mean, I, I didn't catch a kicker. I had a kicker first two days, and today I just I didn't, get a, didn't, didn't get a big one, and I, I had some rats in the bag. So got tough. Well, right now you're going to need 1342. Let's put that bag up here. Everybody out here watching, everybody out there on YouTube, let's watch it. 1342 is we're looking for. 1174. So close, my friend. So close. I'll tell you what. Take this out. Thank you for fishing with us. You didn't get to take the hot seat today. We're going to let Joe sit over there for a little longer. But thank you for coming out here and doing it. You're a great young man. We'll hope we see you at the next one. These are top champions out here. These guys right here. Just waiting in line. These guys all want that seat. But not only do they want that seat, they want that trophy. And the next guy coming up is going to have to work hard, but he's going to have to have 1285. Let's bring him up. Mr. Wyatt DeBoss. Come on up here, Wyatt. You want to show one off? That, if he wants to show one off, that means he's got something big in there. There it is. Look at that. Orville Bass right there. Woo. That's a good one. Let's get our camera guy down here one second. Get a picture of that thing. If not, we'll get him over there. Set him, up. Set him back in there for a second. Tell me a little bit about how that went. Was that the very first fish you caught all day? It was the first fish today. The way the same as the one yesterday, but the la yesterday was last. That was the first fish. So, I'm looking at that fish, and you had to look at that fish all day, and then you had to put four more fish to it. Now you come up on my stage here, and you got to have 1285. That's a heck of a way to start right there. Do you want to weigh that fish and see what he weighs? Let's give this crowd out here a little something to think about because he needs 1285, and he's going to weigh this monster fish. That is a big fish for Orville. That fish right there is going to go 494. Well, you know, it's going to go – pick him up for one second. I've got to put this bag in there to make this fair because we're going to give that to you anyways. But that fish is going to go 574. That makes more sense right there. That's a big bass. All right, so we're going to put him back in there. All right, now we're going to lift that up there. You're going to be looking for 1285. Behind my head right here, this thing, this readout, better say 1285. That's what he wants to see. It's going to weigh 1454. You're taking the hot seat, and you're that much closer to being that champion over there. Wyatt, tell us a little bit about it. Uh, I kind of struggled to catch four others to go with it, to be honest. 
I uh, had four under two pounds to go with it, so it took all day to kind of cull some, but I was happy to get that. All right, you got anybody out there you want to say thanks to? To thanks to my family for watching, my wife back at home, and everybody for the support that sent me texts and calls. All right, Wyatt, let's get you over here. Let's set you down in that seat. We already got your fish taken away. He's going to sit right there. He's going to wake all of you people are going to be watching him. This next angle we're moving up is going to need 1446. Mr. Aaron Britt's coming to the stage. Set those down for a second, Aaron. Now, you've been out here. You've been working hard, man. You work hard. I know you do. I know you as a person. I know the kind of effort you put in. How was today? Uh, you know what? I don't deserve to win this tournament. I, I lost some fish today that would have won me the tournament. Uh, I'm happy to have what I have, but um, I just didn't fish clean enough to win it, and um, we'll see what they weigh. All right, you need 1446. Let's set those fish up in there. 1446 is what we're looking for. He's so close at 1379. Whoa. Aaron, I know that hurts a little bit, but that's okay, man. You put in the effort. You put in the work. Tell us a little bit about some of your sponsors and the people that support you. I know there's some people out here supporting you. Yeah, I got my mom and dad and girlfriend here, which is super cool. They came up. I really appreciate that. Um, new sponsors here, MG Epoxy, a buddy of mine, does some epoxy work down in Yuba Sutter area. Uh, I-Rod, every fish came on I-Rod. Casting's a new sponsor of mine. Um, caught them all on an A-Rig this week on 65-pound Seaguar Smackdown. Um, was scoping as much as I possibly could. I just ran out of fish, man. I had one bank where they were absolutely loaded. And I got tired of seeing 8, 10 fish follow it for 20 casts in a row before I just jumped ship and went up north to today and just... Didn't pan out, lost a big one on the bridge, close to five. My co that caught a five and a half today and a three. So it just, it, I was around the right fish. There's no doubt about it. Um, but uh, it is what it is and happy to be here and looking forward to the next one. Well, I'll tell you what, you are a heck of an angler. You put in a lot of hard work out here. You always do. You show up and it won't be long before you hold one of them big trophies, man. I know it. Let's hold some of those big fish up. These are good Oroville fish right here. He worked hard to get them. He's back up on the stage again. Give him a round of applause right there, everybody. That's the Moorville Bass. All right, sir, thank you very much for coming out, fishing with us. Wyatt's still sitting over there, and he's only got... How many people we got waiting over there? Let me see. Two guys. We got two anglers. Now, the next one coming up, he's been at this lake a lot. He's going to need 14-15. Let's bring up Mr. J.R. Wright. Now, JR, this is your pretty much your home body of water. You fished here a lot. Are you feeling confident right now? No, I, I didn't get any uh, big bites today. Uh, had a great time. My co-angler, Jason Bouvier, won, so that, that's a pretty awesome thing. My wife's here to watch me. That's a great thing, and the crowd right here. So it was a fun day of fishing. We caught lots of fish, just no big bites. All right, well, you need 14-15 to take the lead. Let's set him up in there. 14, 15, that's what we're looking for. 12, 66 is what he's going to end up with. Why don't you hold a couple of these up? Show them off right there. You worked hard to get these. Show them off before we put them back in that lake for somebody else to catch. Show these fish off real quick. There they are. That's your beautiful Oroville fish right there. Thank you for having a lake that has some gorgeous fish in it. JR, thank you for coming out and fishing with us. We hope to see you at the next one. All right. There's one guy. <laughs> he needs some big weight, though. Wyatt, come on up here. Stand right here. Mark, you get over here and you stand this. You got, a, you got both these guys in the shot. So I want to make sure that we see the smile on this man's face, but it might only be for a second. So I'll tell you what, right now, we're going to bring up to the stage Greg Gutierrez. You saw him a minute ago. This time he's coming with a bag of fish, one of his most deadly weapons. All right, Greg, come on up here. Set those down for just a second. Greg, you need 1363. That's all? That's it? That's it. Let's, let's go. I think I'll make you wait now. <laughs> now you're a top angler. You were our champion at Shasta. So I'm not even going to make you do this. I'm going to do this. We're looking for 1363. Wyatt wants that trophy. Greg wants that trophy. And right now, we're going to show you all who's going to get this trophy. It's going to be 1363. We're looking for 1309. Oh. That means 
Ryan Wyatt the Buck, he's your champion in Orville. All right. <laughs> Look at that. There's your Orville champion right there. Mr. Wyatt the Buck. Wyatt, you've done it, man. You came out here and you worked just a little harder than everybody else. You got the right fish and you are our new champion. How does that make you feel? I'm super blessed and happy about it and surprised, but it's awesome. You just went through a gauntlet. Ten of top of the, probably some of the best anglers on the West Coast. There's a Greg Gutierrez out there. There's an Aaron Britt out there. You just took home the champion. Smile and get some pictures right there, my friend. All right, sir, thank you very much. Thank you, everybody, for coming out and watching us. Thank you for tuning in out there in YouTube world. We're happy to be here. We're going to be at the next one. Next one is uh, Arizona, Lake Martinez. We'll be starting off our pro tour. Some of the best anglers in the country are coming out to that event. They'll be down there. Thank you for tuning in to the BAM Trail. Spencer Lazar here to explain why you need eternal lithium batteries in your boat. The cost of our batteries over their life is a fraction of dead acids or AGMs, providing five times the power at a third of the weight. We use a high quality Bluetooth VMS and grade A cells, giving us the confidence to offer a 12 year industry leading warranty. Eternal Lithium provides peace of mind that you've got reliable reserve power to keep you safe and give you a chance to win. Contact us now for a free power consultation. Randall and I want to talk to you real quick about choosing the right electronics mount for your bass boat. And we know the quality and effort that Van Foster has put into this company. So what you get is a custom fitted mount, not some mass produced universal mount for every bass boat out there. Seat pedestal plugs, tool holders, steering wheel spacers and battery trays are all made with the same attention to detail that Bass Boat Technologies is known for. Check them out at BassBoatTech.com. You'll be glad you did. Tackle Warehouse has been the premier online tackle shop since 2003, with a huge selection of not only the latest and greatest from the biggest brands, but the hard to find regional specialties as well. Tackle Warehouse. Click, save, fish. Competitive anglers powered by Mercury Pro XS Outboards have won more bass fishing tournaments than all other brands combined. With lightning quick acceleration, legendary reliability, and lightweight design, Pro XS has everything you need to travel farther, faster, and harder. It's the moment when everything is on the line and precision, power, and control make all the difference. A moment over 20 years in the making, anchored on loyalty, trust, and support that goes beyond all expectations. A relentless pursuit of perfection, all born from a revolutionary idea to help you rule the water. Power Pole. She grew up fast. Will she remember these times and continue the tradition? You better believe it. Tell a new fish story with Garmin. The newest addition to the Basscat STS family is here. Introducing the Caracal STS, showcasing aggressive styling, paired with enhanced performance, and a continued dedication to raising the bar. Measuring in at 20 feet 2 inches with an ultra-wide 96-inch beam and rated for a 250 to 300 horsepower engine, the Caracal STS boasts agility and speed and is finished with premium features to satisfy any angler. Basscat Boats. Feel the rush.